subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. then there is also another important factor that uh, a lot of uh, you know the beginners they fail to understand which is the uh, crop sensor issue um, in the i wouldn't say the older days even now we have sensors that are smaller size uh, they are called crop sensor and then the sensors that are full frame or full size and i'll tell you what it means in the film eras the size of the film i think it was 24 by 36 mm so the sensors that are exactly the size of the film, um, if I remember correctly, 24 by 30, 36, but don't quote me on that. The sensors that are exactly the same size as the film are called the full frame. And they are much more expensive to uh, fabricate. Uh, the sensors, the cost for making them is a lot higher than uh, you know fabricating smaller size sensors. So that is why the entry level cameras um, you'll find them mostly in crop sensor and the more expensive and uh, more professional cameras they are mostly full frame and there are pros and cons to both of them as well. In general uh, the full frame sensors are the best and there's a reason for that. They have better dynamic range, uh, the noise, signal noise is much less, the images are cleaner, the color fidelity is higher. So all in all, the picture quality is superb as compared to crop sensor. Uh, the crop sensors, you know, of course they are cheaper to make, um, but you cram in uh, more megapixels. So uh, the advantage of a full frame is, um, and, and to explain it in an easier term is, let's say you have a room 10 by 10, and you're trying to fit in 100 people in the same uh, room. And when you compare that to a smaller room, which is 5x5 five five size, and you're trying to fit in the same number of people in the same room, of course, the experience will be much worse for a smaller room. It is the same analogy for sensors. So when you have a full frame sensor with 10 megapixels, as opposed to a 10 megapixel crop sensor, the quality or the end result from a full frame 10 megapixel will be way superior to a crop sensor. Uh, and then there is another uh, interesting uh, thing that happens when you switch between full frame sensors and crop sensors. So a 50mm lens on a full frame will give you the field of view uh, which is true 50mm. But when you use the same lens on a crop sensor, the 50mm Focal length is multiplied by the crop factor, which in this case is 1.6. So 50 times 1.6 is equal to 80. So a 50 mm lens behaves like an 80 mm lens on a crop sensor. Uh, that can be useful if you are wanting to you know, use the lens for a telephoto purpose. Uh, you want to uh, increase your reach, but uh, the downside is that the, the picture quality is just not as good as a full frame sensor. So there are pros and cons for both sensors but I would pick a full frame camera any day over a crop sensor. Uh, lately the technology Canon has improved so much that even their crop sensor cameras they are um, you know competing with full frame uh, cameras. So this was a little bit uh, of discussion about uh, different types of sensors. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button.